Hello, my name is Shalanda Chaudhary and in this video, I'll show how to use extension based hybrid worker in Azure automation. So let's start. So the first question is, why do we need the hybrid workers? There are multiple reasons of using the hybrid worker. If you have the servers running in on-prem or another cloud like AWS or Google, and you want to manage those servers using your automation account in Azure, then that can be achieved using the hybrid workers. And hybrid worker connects with the Azure automation account using port 443. So it makes it more secure. Another reason is the limitation and the quota of the Azure workers. Three hour runtime is one of the limitation of Azure workers. That means if you are running an automation script on lot of resources, which will take more than three hours, then that can't be achieved using the Azure workers and hybrid workers is the only solution for that. There are some services like storage accounts, which can be restricted to a particular subnet or virtual network. And Azure workers in that case cannot connect to those storage accounts. So if we'll deploy the hybrid worker in that particular virtual network, that means it's the part of the same network. Those hybrid workers can connect to the storage account and execute the runbooks there. There are a lot of third party tools which are not available on Azure workers. And in case of the hybrid workers, we can install those tools in the virtual machine, which is running the hybrid worker extension and execute the runbook for that particular tool. So these are few reasons which makes a hybrid worker more desirable than the Azure worker. So to create a hybrid worker and execute the runbooks using them, there are few steps which have to be followed. I've listed down the steps which will execute in the demo. So first we'll create an Azure automation account. Then we'll create a VM with Windows 2019 operating system, which we'll use as a hybrid worker. We'll enable the system assigned managed identity. Then we'll assign the required roles to the managed identity so that it can perform different tasks on the other resources. Later, we'll create a hybrid worker group and add the hybrid node to the worker group, which will install the extension on the worker node. Because we'll be running the Azure PowerShell commands, so we have to manually install the Azure PowerShell module in the worker node. Once the module is installed, then our worker node is ready. Then I'll create a runbook to take the snapshot of a VM and execute the runbook using the hybrid worker. Let's check this in demo. I'll first create an Azure automation account. I'll create a new resource group, automation RG. The name is demo automation. The location is Australia is as I'm located in Australia. I'll not enable the managed identity for now. Let's uncheck this. Networking public access, no tags are required and let's create it. It took only few seconds to create an automation account. Let's go to the resource and our automation account is ready. So before we make further changes in the automation account, let's create a virtual machine with the operating system Windows 2019. Let's go to virtual machine. Create a new virtual machine. We'll use the same resource group automation RG. Virtual machine is worker node. Operating system is 2019 data center. This seems to be a bug in Azure UI. So let's provide other values. and we'll allow RDP and HTTPS port. No extra disk is required for networking. We'll use the AKS virtual network and we'll create a public IP because we have to log into the virtual machine to install the PowerShell module. All looks good. Advance, review and create and create. Virtual machine and its related resources are created now. So the virtual machine is created, network interface, NSG and the public IP address. And because we are using the dev test lab schedule is created so that it will shut down automatically if not in use. Anyways, I'll be deleting this virtual machine after this demo. 
so it doesn't matter let's go to the resource and the virtual machine is running now it's in running status it has a public ip address private ip address and all set let's go back to azure automation account and enable the system identity system assigned managed identity is disabled now however when you create an automation account it's enabled by default so let's enable it and next step is to assign the roles so right now there is no role assigned let's assign two roles the first role is to provide contributor level access on the virtual machine which we have created as a worker node so which is automation rg we'll we'll provide to the whole resource group and contributor and save and we have to assign another role to the virtual machine whose snapshot we will be taking so let me go to the virtual machines there is one agent node which is devops self hosted agent it's stopped right now it has two disk one os disk and one data disk so we'll take the snapshot of this vm and this vm is in different resource group which is agent pool rg so we have to provide the permissions to automation account to manage this virtual machine let's go back to automation account identity role assignment resource group and its agent pool and we'll provide the contributor level access you can provide the minimum level access but in this case i'll use the contributor so the roles are assigned but usually it takes few minutes to reflect here so let's go to the automation account and we'll create the hybrid worker group so let's create a new hybrid worker group worker group we'll not enable the run as credential we'll be using the system assigned manager identity we'll add the virtual machine which is worker node and create this will add the extension to the virtual machine let's check we'll go to the virtual machine worker node and if we'll go to the extension you can see a hybrid worker extension is being installed installation is in progress so it's transitioning right now it will be installed soon so let's go back to azure automation account hybrid worker worker group and hybrid worker so you can see the worker node is getting set up when you start seeing the last seen time that means your hybrid worker is ready let's wait for it to finish the hybrid worker extension is installed now so let's check the last seen time and yes you can see now the worker is available and if we we'll go to the virtual machine and the extensions it's provisioned successfully so that means now our worker node is ready the next step is to install the azure powershell module into the worker so that we can run the azure powershell commands let's take the public ip and rdp to it azure user and password we are logging in now let's open the windows powershell as administrator run as administrator and install the module so we are installing the az module from the powershell gallery yes and it will start installing this will take some time so i'll pause the video and we'll be back once it's ready powershell module is installed now get azvm and as you can see it gave an error like no subscription is found which means azvm is working so that's good now our worker node is ready and let's create a run book first and then execute the run book using this hybrid worker let's go to automation account we 
go to run books create a new run book snap vm powershell 5.1 and create so let me copy the run book so i've already created a run book to take the snapshot of the vm so it requires three parameters what is the location in which resource group vm is located and what is the name of the vm we have to provide these three values and it will take the snapshot of the vm it's connecting to azure account using the identity there is only one subscription to this tenant so we don't need to set context for it snapshot resource group is the same as the resource group name which means the snapshot will be created in the resource group where virtual machine is lying so it's getting the detail of virtual machine then it's getting the snapshot config for the os disk and creating the snap for the os disk then it will checking how many data disk are there and for each data disk it will create the config and take the snapshot once that is done it will list all the snapshots which are created so let's save and publish and execute this run book using the hybrid worker so the location is australia east vm resource group let's check agent pool rg name is agent node 001 and we want to run it using the hybrid worker the job is triggered now right now the current status is queued should be starting soon as you can see it's running now and it's completed so first it took the snapshot of the os disk and then it took the snapshot of the data disk and finally it provided which snapshot has is taken one for the data disk one for the os disk let's go to the resource group and check if snapshot is created agent pool rg and if we'll select the snapshots you can see there are two diff two snapshots which are created and it's the today's date they are created today and this is how you can use the hybrid worker to execute the run books so now if you want to add a schedule just go to the schedule create a schedule daily snap and make it recurring daily create and what you have to do is go to the run books and link to schedule you link to schedule provide the parameters and once it's provided you have to select the hybrid worker and okay and automatically it will run for the next schedule so that is all for this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much